now I should really go through and extract out all of this HTML. So I'm going to again create a new class and I'm just going to call this album view. And there's kind of two ways to go about this. We could create public functions to do each of these things and then have the HTML embedded in these functions. So what I could do is a public function show header and then maybe my header would have a page title here. And by default, it'll be empty. And then what I could really just do is bring all of this into that function, like that. And then have my page title here. And what that would let me do is require my album view, at which point I can instantiate my view. And I can call my show header function. So I should really pass in my iTunes sample. There we go. Okay. I could do that, but when we get into using frameworks, you'll find that most of the frameworks don't like doing that because that's a lot of embedding and echoing, and, and that kind of doesn't look all that nice. So we're actually going to go one level extra of extraction here. I'm going to create a new folder. I call it Views. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new file in there. And I'm just going to call it header.inc. Very common thing to do. Of course, it's helping me a little too much there. I don't want to have an ink.php. I just want to call it header.inc. And I'm going to take out that little PHP part there. And I'm going to take the HTML here. And instead of putting all of this in one giant echo block, I'm going to put it like that. Only now I have to actually say PHP echo my page title. And then what that will let me do is in my view, I can just say include views header.inc. It still works just the same. But what that's done for us is now our include is just mostly, you don't have to worry about uh, the giant echo blocks and escaping things and whatnot. You're sort of back to coding in this procedural style. But I also don't have to worry about embedding a bunch of HTML in my functions here. I can just worry about what the arguments need to be, like the page title here. So this is just a nice clean way to do this, and you'll find that when you get to using frameworks, they do something very similar to this. You just end up not having to write this album view class. You just write those includes. So I'm going to also include a show footer. I don't really need any arguments for that. And I'm going to have it show footer.inc. And then I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to have one that's public function show latest. Because again, that's sort of what we had going on there. And we're just going to say that it takes this array called rows, and we could call it anything. We could call it latest if we wanted to. And I'm just going to be nice and explicit. Latest albums.inc. So I've got my show header, my foot, show footer, and my show latest. If I need to create those, a new PHP file, and I need my footer. And again, I'm going to have to rename this. Take out my PHP block, and then I'm also going to need a latest albums. And again, get rid of all that extra stuff. See, so I can go back in and I can take out my footer as much as there is, at which point I can take out my closing PHP block because I don't need it anymore. Take that, paste that into my extraordinarily complex footer there. Don't need that open anymore. Don't need my header open anymore. Don't need this open anymore. I really just need to take this logic here and move that into my latest albums. Now, that was PHP based logic instead of HTML. So there we go. I get my PHP, blah, blah, blah. I've got everything I want to have here. It does depend on this thing still being called rows, but that's okay. 
having these sorts of dependencies isn't too bad. You'll see in some frameworks that they'll pass in some sort of uh, context or something along those lines, but it's the same sort of idea. So in addition to showing my header, I'm now going to show my show latest. And then I'm going to go ahead and do show footer. And it's already complaining that it knows that it needs that that latest needs an argument. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass it that. I could even go one step further and just refactor that variable out altogether. So that our controller isn't down to much. We're just requiring a couple of PHP files. Uh, we instantiate our model. We instantiate our view. We call our header. We call our latest. We call our footer. And if I didn't screw anything up, there we go. It still works. So that's a really, really simple PHP application right there. Not much to it. We've got our model, which just handles all of our database access, and we would just basically make more of these get something functions, maybe pass in some parameters, which we would pass in there. So if I wanted to say have the artist as a parameter, I could do that really easily. By doing this colon based syntax there, I then have to pass it into here. And I just say that my artist is my artist. Nothing too tricky there. Still works. But now I can instead say pass in the artist as an argument. I get my latest albums by BT. There we go. Nothing very exciting there. Additional model classes would just have more of these functions like this. Our view is not very exciting, but what it does enable us to do is when we get moved to frameworks later on, we're basically going to be able to copy over this views directory and pretty much everything will still be the same. We might, instead of using this page title like this, it might pass in a request context, so it might change to or see some page title, or some frameworks will use data for your page title. It, it, it's all basically the same thing. Uh, well, we're not having to fundamentally and structurally change our application, we're just kind of massaging variable names a little bit. But that's basically it. That's an entire PHP application. There's not much to it. Hope that helps, and uh, good luck. <laughs>